Hi everyone, it's Michaela, and yes, I am outside. I didn't want to be in my bedroom again for another MBTI video, so I came out here onto my porch. But today I'm going to go through the extroverted sensing dominant MBTI types, which are ESTP and ESFP, and I'm going to basically read out what people sent in. I recently put out a survey asking for both compliments and advice for the types from the types. So basically like, ESFPs gave advice and compliments to themselves based on what they know about themselves. There are some truly heartwarming responses, to be honest, and I'm kind of excited to share them. So I've taken the responses and I'm just gonna put them on the screen and read through them. And I really hope that it inspires you somehow and that it makes your day maybe a little bit better. It's starting to rain. Um, well, I'm not at liberty to give out advice for ESDPs and ESFPs, seeing as I'm an INTJ. I do want to give a compliment myself because why not if I'm making this video. So my compliment for ESTPs is that you are like the only people who are, wow, okay, the wind's picking up. You are so good at combining this intellectual vigor in your, in what you say and what you do with also like this life of the party sort of vibe. And what I mean by this is you have this, these juxtaposing qualities, I guess that you can talk about philosophy or mathematics, whatever it is, because you're very analytical, but you're also completely capable of making everyone laugh and making everyone feel really comfortable and at home because you know how to combine logic with socialization. I think that most people can sometimes struggle to have a balance between the two, but you guys are just really good at that, at putting both together so that you can make any conversation so fascinating. Like I did for the ESTP, I also want to give ESFPs a compliment. My compliment for ESFPs is that you guys are sunshine. Like, you are just pure sunshine that has become a human being because there's no other way to see you. You're so full of life and ESFPs are literally like the most optimistic people I've ever met. They can make anything seem like fun. They can make anything seem bright, even when things are down and when things are getting rough. They know how to see the optimism. People who are ESFPs can say to themselves, even, even in the hardest of times, well, at least we still have this, or at least we can do this. They know how to seek out the bright amongst even the darkest of times, and I think that that's something to applaud, and I really admire ESFPs for that, because sometimes it's hard to stay positive, especially during COVID era. So <laughs> thank you ESFPs for always being optimistic. And with that being said, here's all the survey responses. Stop burying your emotions. Despite what some people think, you do have emotions and you feel them deeply. You don't need to hide that from everyone. Being more vulnerable and showing emotion will not make you weak. Open up to the people close to you and stop being the one everyone leans on. Just tell someone you're not doing well. You're not going to seem weak and people will still think you're just as fun. It's all right to not understand your or others' feelings and it's all right to not know where you're headed in life. It's hard not being able to comfort your feeler friends and family because you just don't know how to, but know that it's hard for them as well and you're gonna work through this. Go with your gut, whatever comes your way will be bound to be great because ESTPs have something other personalities don't have, burning passion. Don't ever stop trying. You should start to accept yourself so you won't need people around you 24 seven to stay sane. Stop procrastinating. Allow yourself to process and deal with deep emotions or feelings. You shouldn't run away from your feelings. It is okay to feel something different. That's how you'll learn more about yourself and grow. It's okay to cry and allow people in who are trustworthy and to be vulnerable. You'll never grow if you don't. Be open to other perspectives. You're not always right. Share with the people close to you and stop hiding your emotions. Don't be so bold and strong when meeting people. Just relax more and enjoy the relationship. You are the best at defending what is right and having the capability to be able to stand your ground no matter what and you're probably the best person to go to for a good time. You are so fun to be around and never stop being you. You are really charismatic and people love to be with you. Bro, you bring so much light and optimism and fun. You're the friend everyone dreams of having. You're such a hard worker. You make it seem like all is okay, even if it's not. You're charismatic and just full of life and adventure. You're resilient and strong. You are the life of the party and fun to be around. You are very, very smart. Don't throw that away and I know you won't. Things only improve when you work to improve them. Discipline is your friend. You are so smart, but you gotta stop procrastinating and getting distracted. You can't always do what you want. You gotta just try a little harder and you will make it. Don't put yourself down, you are amazing. 
You don't have to be happy and excited all the time. It's okay to be sad, angry, anxious. Focusing on one thing may sound dull and boring, but the result and the peace of mind is worth it. Take some time to yourself. You don't have to constantly be entertaining others and making them happy. You need to focus on yourself more rather than always trying to impress or entertain others. It's okay to seclude yourself when you need time alone. People don't focus on your small mistakes and imperfections as much as you think they do. Don't be afraid of your emotions. Facing them isn't as scary as it seems. People aren't trying to hurt you with what they say. It won't hurt to take a breather and reflect for a moment. You don't have to keep running. You are so good at welcoming and meeting new people. You really are a beautiful creature and every moment with you feels like life as it should be. Full of love, support, and happiness. Your infinite love for people is so overwhelmingly warm. Please keep spreading it in a healthy way. You are so much more intelligent than you and others give yourself credit for. People love being around you. You make a dull room bright. You are stunning. Keep it up. You brought so much light to people's lives. It isn't a party until you get there. You're a very hard person to dislike, despite what you may think. You always know how to break people out of their shell. You're a charming, magnetic person. And that's everything. So I really hope that if you're an ESFP or an ESTP, that this video made your day a little bit better and maybe it provided you some ideas for your own mental health. Next video, I will do two more types based on one cognitive function. So be looking for that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you have a terrific rest of your day.